Hey, this is Cody right here. That's Gabby. <laughs> what about a tattoo her? Right there. All right, what's the meaning of uh, the writing? It's a memorial. Seems to deserve the best and. Oh, yeah, it's a memorial. There you go. All right. Let me see. Let me get out and get my pictures. Okay, friend, what do you think? I love it. Thank you so much. Okay. It's beautiful. Peace. Peace. <laughs> <laughs> History of the tattoo right here, my no man. It's for my daughter. Okay. Is he? But I'll wish her. Today's your birthday. Mm -hmm. You're 16, and your awesome, amazing, cool dad is letting you get a tattoo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so what? What's the tattoo? Now, why did you pick this? Um, I just thought I looked pretty. Yeah. And then she's getting her name for this stem. Because that's when I 
start throwing in numbers after that. So why, so why are you getting this tattoo? Um, I'm gonna get it in memorial of my grandpa. Okay. You get a little closer. It's for my son that passed away. Yeah. And I my asked brother. him what his favorite flower was or bird, and he told me I like the cardinals, but the cardinal is the Virginia State bird. So he said in his backyard he always has a lot of blue jays. He got to like the blue jays. Yeah. So I said okay. So that's how he comes to get the blue jays. Cause he just had a birthday December 20th. It's not gonna happen, Mom. Not gonna happen. You know. They know they're coming. They know. He suffered, but Cody, he, he didn't get up out of bed for two months. Wow. Oh, God. I hope he pays you good for this. Yeah. <laughs> All right, what do you guys think of beautiful, the tattoo? Beautiful, beautiful work. Thank beautiful work, you. Cody. <laughs> oh, you come around and say something here. So what, what's uh, that to you for? Tell them. Yeah, this girl wouldn't eat anything but mac and cheese when she was a kid. Mm -hmm. Plus we just really like mac and cheese so much that my significant other gets burnt out. Mm -hmm. Like vanilla mac and cheese for a while. Mm -hmm. <laughs> also, <laughs> we wanted this tattoo five years ago, and we were like, hmm, we, we should think about it. Yeah, mm -hmm. like we were like, is it stupid? Like maybe we should, mm -hmm. but it's been five years, maybe longer. It's been a long time. Yeah, and we still want it. So, cool. Here we are. Yeah. Oh, it's my first tattoo on a real person. I'm not a real person. <laughs> <laughs> okay, get out. Oh my god. Okay, tell me the story behind your little paw print. Oh my gosh, so I had a dog ever since I was 10 years old, and uh, unfortunately we had to put him down last March, but he had like the happiest little life. He was just like... He was like a cat in a dog's body. Oh. You know, all my friends are cat people, and they're like, "Yo, your dog made me love dogs." Aww. He just like always minded his business. He was always just like eating treats and just like watching TV. That was the thing. He like watched TV. No. Yeah, yeah he, he watched saw, TV. Like, yeah. Animals on the screen and everything. He'd like jump up. There were certain shows that he knew the pattern of. No. And he would like jump if he saw like a bird or a horse or something. It was crazy. What was his name? Gino. Stop. Yeah, he was my little meatball. Oh. <laughs> yeah. That's cute. I was like, I knew I wanted a tattoo for him at some point and I was just like, alright, this was a great time and I'm exactly what I want. Yeah. I love that. It's a little secret compartment. The way it doesn't get lost. Yeah. It's Aww. Crazy. It's got his tags and everything. And he's come with me to Florida. He's come with me to Nashville. He's come with me back home to Jersey, Pennsylvania, New York. So Aww. every time I travel, I'm like, all right, you're coming with me. Like, I <laughs> love 
love that. And it's like he used to travel with us because I used to live in New Jersey, but I've been in Portland. So he would come with us on like 15 hour car rides here. Like we bring him to the like go run. Like my dog. It's like I still tell him friend. Heck yeah. So what's the history about this tattoo? Okay, so um, this tattoo, it has a lot of different meanings depending, mm -hmm. like some of it is like religious meanings or honestly, mm -hmm. I don't have any like religious background for this tattoo, mm -hmm. but a lot of people see as above, so below as like whatever's in the heavens is what's on earth. So it's basically just about like equality. Yeah. And I really like that about this tattoo. Yeah, I I really, I just like the meaning behind it. It's like an inspiration for kind of. How long you been on Gosh? Um, I've lived here my whole life. Oh, your whole life. Okay, what do you think? It's so cute. Girlies are getting this tattoo. So she is the sun to my moon. Um, she brightens the darkness of me, and so we're getting the sun and moon tattoos. Love it. I did. I gave it to her for Christmas. Surprise. I am not. Hey, well. what's going on? It's Cody <laughs> over here. This is Nicole. Hey. Don't forget like and like and what? Subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> In Italy, All that's right. the only water they Peace. <laughs>